Patricia Gibson. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, I listened very carefully to the Leader of the House when he talked about the House of Lords giving the public confidence in what Parliament decides. And it will come as no surprise to the Leader of the House if I urge him to seriously consider the abolition of the House of Lords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, in my view, Madam Deputy Speaker, would give the public confidence in democratic accountability. And I would remind the Leader of the House that the House of Lords is the only legislature in the world mm -hmm. with unelected clerics, with the exception of yeah, Iran. Man. It is unelected, unaccountable, the public does not have confidence in it. Will he consider abolishing this museum piece which is filled with cronies and failed politicians who have been rejected at the ballot box. Well, Madam Deputy Speaker, I suspect if you talked to uh, the public about the way our Parliament works and said that we have an elected House that does, and as a result of these proposals and secondary leg legislation, will have the final say, but that we also have a group of people who have been very eminent in their very different professions, and we have people ranging from Lord Lo Lloyd Webber in the arts to some of the most senior business people, whose job it is, whose job it is to advise and guide the elected House about when it might be getting it right and when it might be getting it wrong. I think they might form a different view. But look, there are strong opinions about this, I accept that. But right now, this is about solving a structural problem in the relationship between the two Houses that has emerged in the last few months. And Lord Strathclyde, I think, has given us three sensible options to work with.